imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when I see your face is before me. I can only imagine. I can only imagine Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? To my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine when that day comes, I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine what I will do when it's forever for us to worship you. I can only imagine. People say what? Amen. Amen. Shall we rise and sing our doxology together? Father, as we come before you, we do thank you and do praise you for the blessings that come down from you, so undeserved on our part, and yet you continue to bless us and ask us to be a blessing to others. So we give our Heavenly Father out of the love that's within our hearts, and we dedicate these ties, the gifts, these offerings unto you, and ask that you use them, but use them only in accordance with your will and all to your honor and glory. 
For we do ask and pray it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. for blessing and bringing us to a time in our worship experience where we have an opportunity to speak with our Heavenly Father about the concerns that are upon our heart. There are many prayers that need to be offered up to our Heavenly Father, and He asks us to do that. This nation needs to be upheld by prayer, that's for sure. I am convinced that the only way we're going to go forward is on our knees, and that includes the world itself. You look at the news, you read about the news, and you see what's happening, and it was all told to you four to 6,000 years ago in God's word. The time is short. He is coming again. 
So be in prayer if you would, for not only this nation, but the world in general, there is a need. We have people on our prayer list that's mentioned here in our boat, and they are in need. Once again, we want you to uphold them in prayer before our Heavenly Father. And our love goes out to Eleanor Lanning and Carolyn Meldrum upon the homegoing of Chip Lanning, husband and father. Would you remember them in your prayers, please? Our missionary this week is the Saints Prison Ministry. I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but it's a great ministry. Started in Moorestown, New Jersey, still located in Moorestown, New Jersey, but now it's nationwide. And what they do, they have young men and young women that go into prisons and they reach the prisoners by playing sports. They have softball, they have basketball, they have soccer. And at halftime, they present the word of God to those prisoners. And you have to understand those who come forward during this ministry are under a hardship from their fellow prisoners. It takes a mighty stand to stand before them and say, yes, I'm accepting Christ as my savior. And the saints prison ministry do that. We help them financially, but we're gonna ask you this entire week, would you uphold them in prayer and their ministry before our Heavenly Father. I know you have some concerns that are upon your heart, and we give you an opportunity to come before our Heavenly Father at this time in silent prayer to let him know your concerns and also let him know your love. And then would you join me in public prayer? Shall we go to the Lord in prayer at this time? 